Sefer Vayikra is a book of laws. However, there are two short narrative sections in the Sefer. Through an analysis of these stories, I believe that we can shed light on the halachot of Sefer Vayikra in particular, and the nature of halacha in general. Towards the end of Parshat Emor, we encounter a rather enigmatic story. A certain individual, um, who's the son of an Israeli, Israelite mother and an Egyptian father, gets into some kind of physical altercation with a full Israelite. Now, during this struggle, one thing leads to another, and the Ben Ishmitsri, the son of the Egyptian, blasphemes the name of God, and his ultimate punishment is to be put to death. Now, the book's other narrative recounts the fate of Nadav and Avihu. Now, on the surface, these seem like very much opposite stories. Nadav and Avihu were the ultimate insiders, the eldest sons of the Kohen Gadol. Ben Ishmitsri, on the other hand, who really remains nameless, was on the periphery of Israel society. He was the son of an Egyptian man and, according to Midrash, of a wayward Israelite woman. Nadav and Avihu's only sin was engaging in like overly ecstatic service of Hashem, while the Ben Ish Mitzri rejected Hashem out of hand. These stories are of two opposite extremes. Yet, both Nadav and Avihu and the Ben Ish Mitzri suffered the very same consequences. I believe that these stories they serve as a framing mechanism or Sefer Yikra as a whole. Both Aaron's sons and the son of the Egyptian took very extreme actions, the type of actions which our Masora generally teaches that we should avoid. The Rambam writes that avoiding the extremes and taking the Derech Yishara, taking the middle path, is the surest way to follow in Hashem's ways. So Sefer Yikra presents to cautionary tales, but also it presents the antidote. In fact, the antidote is, um, contains the bulk of Sefer Vayikra. Often, we might get lost in the details and certainly Vayikra, the sheer volume of the halachot, not to mention um, all these great Sifre halacha compiled over the centuries. Though the placement of these two short stories in a law book I think underscores that halacha is a guide for us, and a guide for us to avoid such destructive extremes, and a guide for us to help us lead us down the derech yeshirah.